Margaret, or rather more properly, Professor Margaret Brown, distinguished mathematician. What do mathematicians like about what Shirley's done in their field? I think, first of all, she's brought, brought public attention to the whole business about maths anxiety. And that's been critical because it's not an area that other people have highlighted. So the fact that she's been able to communicate it to the media, uh, to influencers, to policy makers, and really focus the public attention on this has been terribly important. What would they like her to do from now on in? Well, I think keep keep the focus because, you know, ministers come and ministers go and we have to really keep focusing on this because it affects a large proportion of children. Um, everybody feels anxious sometimes and about a quarter of children feel anxious most of the time. So if we're going to get standards up and make people more confident about maths, it's really important that we keep focusing on how to deal with this problem. And so if Shirley can keep her website going, she's got a really good website with all the resources on it, and keep improving that and keep focusing people's attention back onto it, that's, that would be really helpful. And it's a quarter of children feeling anxious about maths most of the time. Yes, indeed. It's really quite high. About 10% really hate it all the time, 25% most of the time. So that's really higher than people estimate, much higher than teachers estimate, actually. And it's a national problem in the great sort of rankings of European and Western countries. We don't do terribly well? We don't do well on standards um, and we probably, we don't have very good comparative information about anxiety, but we're certainly not up at the top of the list in feeling confident about maths. But I think it's probably a, a problem that affects others too. But our examination system in particular uh, makes people very anxious about their maths. So it's a good post-Brexit resolution to get better at maths for the oh, nation. Oh, absolutely. This would be the, the, the height of what we should aim for. Very important because we can't just recruit people from other countries any longer. We may, uh, we may have to train our own. So actually to have a good supply of confident mathematicians coming forward is really important. So if we're a, to achieve mm. the second wave of British world domination, mm. Shirley's got to keep pressure up. Absolutely. And it's at all levels of the, the population. It's not just we need real experts because actually almost everything is based on maths these days. But we need ordinary people to be competent in how they handle uh, numeracy and their mathematical ability. So it's, it's absolutely key all, all the way up. I mean, I think what, um, why Shirley's been so effective is that she is so well known among the media and the public and among politicians that she's been really able to draw attention to this as a national problem. That's been very valuable.